Right, in this video, we are going to go and take a look at SharePoint. I'm back on my Office 365 main dashboard. You can go to office.com to access it. Now, I want you to know the SharePoint app does not have a client application. There are ways around it, but for the purpose of keeping things simple, you can only access SharePoint via the web browser, okay? It's my first time signing in with the test account, so we'll go ahead and, and we'll say, let's get started. So this is SharePoint. Um, SharePoint is an app that allows multiple users to get access to documents so they can store, modify documents, and basically collaborate and be able to work together. I'm not going to take a deep dive into SharePoint. I'm just going to show you guys some basic capabilities so that you can get comfortable with it. From there, you can go on and discover things on your own. From this page, you can see that the test account does not have access to any sites so far. So let's say we want to create one. We we'll simply select Create Site. And from there, you get an option to pick between a team site and a communication site. Team sites are more designed for sharing documents, you know, having a conversation with the teams, um, events, managing tasks, and other things. The communication site is more for like posting stuff. It's more like you want like an internal website where you get to communicate with um, users. For the purpose of this tutorial, I just want to show you guys how you can share documents using SharePoint. So we'll go ahead and select the team site. We'll call the site name test site. And you can see the URL has been created right there. All right. And now we can set the privacy here. It gives us an option of public. Anyone within the organization can access this site. Or I can set it to private and say, okay, I only want to select certain people. You know, I don't want um Bob from accountant because I don't like him, so he can't get access. I'm just kidding. Yeah, so we'll set it to private. Select next. Now, if we want to add additional owners, um, an owner is someone that can actually edit the site, right? They'll have um, editing rights. They'll have basically the same rights as you. So we'll go ahead and put my email as an owner of this site. And you can see it right there. Members are people that only have access to the document, but they don't really have the ability to modify your site. They don't have admin rights. I'm not going to add anyone there. I'm just going to keep myself as a co-owner with the test account. We'll select finish and the test site has been created and again this is the url if you have the test account credentials or if you have um, my account credentials you can actually enter this url and you'll be able to access this site if you're not logged in under those accounts you will not have access to this site i want to keep this short so i want to kind of just direct your attention to the document section um, you can always dress your site as you please um, the buttons are pretty obvious on how you want to dress it up. You know, you can make like news activities and post different things on the page. So as the members come to the site, they'll be able to get that information. Well, let's go to the documents because that's where I want to really show you guys the value of SharePoint and document sharing. So let's bring back that old scenario where Elvis is having a birthday party and, and the test account is part of the planning committee. Let's say that, um, let's say your test account and you've been tasked with creating the birthday card right you went ahead and created this document here happy birthday card right it's a word document and you want to share it with me we have this um, test site and you know you and I have access to it so you just simply take it drag and drop it right there and the happy birthday document has been uploaded onto the test site now you want to let me know that this document is there and you want to point me directly to it there are many different options for you to do that using SharePoint. I'll show you the first option. You can select this three bar right here and you can say copy link. And basically anybody within PJ Professional IT Services can get access to this document using this link. If I select this arrow right here, now I can actually modify who I give access to this document. Like I say, people with existing access, which is just, you know, you and I, the test account and my account. Or I can say specific people and actually specify certain people that I want to get access. I'll go ahead and choose um, people with existing access. And I'll select apply to the link. And now I can go ahead and copy this link. Then I can open up Outlook. If you're not familiar with Outlook, uh, we discussed that in previous videos. You can just go back and um, watch those videos. Okay, so my Outlook, I can simply select a new email. 
and then I can simply enter the email here and select paste. Once the test account sends it to me, then I'll be able to click on that link and be able to view that birthday card document. But I don't really like these URL being drawn out like this. I actually have a better way. So I can say, right, I want click here to refer to that link. So I'll highlight it. Now right click. Then I will select um, link. And from there in the address bar, I will simply paste my URL. Right. And you can see here it's been turned blue, you know, and now it's become a hyperlink. This is this is a much cleaner way of doing things rather than sending that bulky, you know, link that's just all over the place. Kind of keeps your email nice and clean. And now I can go ahead and send that. In the next video, we're going to continue this tutorial on how to share documents on SharePoint. Stay tuned.